Hey, this is Artifacts of Mars. And in New York City, Charleston, Yasmin Sayweed, who claimed to be the victim of a hate crime by Trump supporters, is now under arrest and charged with a f filing a false report, police source told the New York Daily News. 18-year-old Sayweed caused quite a media stir with a sensationalized account of Trump supporters attacking her on the subway. She claimed three men attempted to pull her off her high jab while calling her a terrorist and yelling Trump's name. All this happened, she said, while New York New Yorkers sat idly by and watched her get assaulted. Police source told news that the police gave Sayweed numerous opportunities to recant her story, but she kept sticking to it. Finally, on Wednesday, she admitted she made the whole thing up, citing family problems. Police said there were many inconsistencies in her story initially, but at first they assumed they could be a typical sign of being traumatized. They also claim an investigation in false hate crime required a lot of resources. Many people became suspicious of Seaweed's story when no witnesses of the attack came forward and only one of the men she described could be found on MTA security tape. Things got even stranger when Seaweed... I'm just going to pronounce her name Seaweed. Seaweed disappeared last weekend only to return two days later saying she was at Aroldo's house. Many media outlets reported the fake hate crime did not include qualifiers like alleged and claimed. Instead they reported the hoax crime as fact like with Buzzfeed, Buzzfeed story drunk men yelling, it, yelling Donald Trump to remove woman's high jab on New York City subway. While it's not completely clear why Seaweed invite, invented this story, it's clear that folks will harm the credibility of actual victims of hate crimes and assaults. Well, no fooling. I've uh, heard this has been happening a lot, actually. We've had some questionable stuff happen around here where I live. So, uh, see, Weed's going to do a little time in jail, I guess. What was she thinking? Well, uh, left likes to uh, perpetrate these uh, false flag style events to attack the uh, right and attack. America and so forth. This is just another one. I guess it goes double for... Well, not so much double. I, I guess it's... Just for these so-called minorities. Uh, uh, these things keep getting perpetrated. It's hoaxes. We have one around here. We had a couple down at SUNY Geneseo, for instance. Somebody sprayed KKK and swastika, and the media went b ballistic. It was probably a Trump hater who did this. Anyway, that's our Islam in the West update. Thanks for watching.